Welcome to Long Plays by Free Play. It's Chris Delp joining you again, and today we're going to be playing NBA Maximum Hang Time. Maximum Hang Time. A lot of people call this game NBA Hang Time, and it kind of is, but it's a revision that came out a few months later. Um, it features updated rosters, some changed codes. There's a new rosters for 97, so you can see um, in our attract screen. Um, rookie players, like uh, I believe this is Marbury, Stefan Marbury. Um, yeah, let's just get right into the game. This whole long play. There we go. And the announcer there, Neil Funk, we'll hear a lot of him. Not Tim Kirchrow, who is the famed NBA Jam announcer. So we're going to type in a code here. I don't normally do this, but this run through is dedicated to Dan Amrich, pin number 2020 and his bunny ears. Why? There he is. He was an author for Slam Magazine back in the day. And I know a lot about this game because I played a lot of it. But a lot of the modern knowledge, especially with secrets, which I did not use, were provided by this guy and his, I don't know, WordPress site. He was an author for Slam Magazine. He did a, he did a run through. Um, he did a, an interview with Mark Termal, who was the lead programmer of this back in the day. They decided to stick him in the game along with some other media members. Uh, no Bill Clinton or uh, political figures or what was it that they had an NBA Jam. The, the home editions had a lot of like really random players. Um, this one has even more random, it's a, they're just random people, right? So he was an author for Slam Magazine. One, 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 down, up, and then three shoots. One, 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 down is tournament mode. That's going to turn off all computer assistance, all cheats, which are prevalent in this game. Uh, the up and shoot, shoot, shoot is, I guess, a cheat. It's more of a mod to the game. It shows you where your hot spot is. So uh, we're going to see that as soon as I grab the ball and hit the button. We'll look through the, the tutorial here for just a second. Um, yeah, this is out to Dan because his, his little WordPress site is a huge source of information for NBA Maximum Hang Time, which is a game that's basically lost to time because everybody remembers NBA Hang Time and really even more than that, NBA Jam, Jam Tournament Edition. Like that was the name that set the standard for everything. So yeah, this one goes out to him. Facebook friends. Uh, Mark Termal created a game in the background. He's in the audience watching us today. Um, there is the hot spot. That's why I press up and three shoots. Um, it randomly locates. It, it's probably it's probably stable for Dan as I'm using him as a secret character. I don't think he is an unbalanced character, but I don't know because I don't normally use them. Uh, if you shoot a shot from a hot spot, it'll probably go in. Um, if you shoot two spots from a hot, two shots, the computer's getting desperate right now, actually. It knows what's in store. All right. If you make two, it's activated. The announcer will point out that it's activated. Now, normally the hot spot is hidden, but we, uh, we went ahead and revealed it so I could go find it. Uh, I'm assuming if you want to play as Dan, you're always going to get this because in practice, I played as Dan one time. And he had the exact same hotspot. Get in there. He's got a hotspot. Hot now, anytime I shoot a shot from that now activated hotspot for the rest of the game, it will be as if it's on fire, meaning it is absolutely going in. It is absolutely going in. And I will show you right now. Good. Oh! It's like a it's like a 92% shot. That's awesome. I like the commentator's curse, though. Good. Wow. Also, of great note in this game, the computer absolutely cheats. Uh, that's okay. It's a, this is primarily a zoning game, which means you want to control your space on the court. For example, on defense, you just want to maintain your position in between the basket and your opponent. If that happens, 
you maintain that 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 uh, distance between you and the the basket, sorry, the opponent in the basket, uh, when they go to shoot, their shot percentage goes way down. Um, that's really how you defend in this game. Um, there are a few options for defense. So buttons are really simple: turbo, shoot, pass. I think of shoot. It says shoot block in this version. Um, I think of it as the jump button, basically. Pass, steal, that's your change of possession button. Steal the ball, pass it to your teammate. You always control one player, so I'm always controlling Bunny Ears Dan here, which uh, he was definitely the most noticeable of the random person secret characters just because of these bunny ears. Oh my goodness. They're telling me to, we're gonna run two games here. I could literally play this game all day, and I have literally played this game all day. The, our Extra Life Charity event, I think it was three years ago, that was uh, benefiting Cook Children's here in Tarrant County. Um, they had me play a game for 25 straight hours, and I chose this game, NBA Maximum Hang Time. So I played 110 straight games of this. I didn't force it in from the same point every time. But I'm, I'm, I'm talking and playing at the same time, so I'm just kind of walking over there. Here, let's shoot a non-hotspot shot. Um, yeah, 25 straight hours of playing, benefiting Cook Children's Hospital. That was a lot of fun to do. Um, it was so fun, slash disorienting and harrowing, that I decided to uh, share the experience with all my friends. So the next year, I got all the best Super Turbo players around, invited them to stay for 25 hours in the arcade. Um, we did that for charity. The next year, we did one of every single thing that we, one of every single game that we do, every single monthly event, whether it's puzzle night or Tuesday night fights, even though it was on a Saturday, get that out of here. Um, Shrimp, what are you doing? Um, yeah, uh, this year, I believe we're gonna do one of everything again, a pinball tournament, some, some fighting game related stuff, a puzzle game event, all in 25 hour period. Invite everybody who is willing to donate 25 bucks and come out for the day to play with us. It's gonna be great. I am lighting it up again. Good job, Dan. Uh, Ace. Way to go, Ace. The stat screen is really nice. Let you know plenty of stuff. The rebounds is confusing. I believe it's offensive and defensive rebounds. I don't know. Dan had it on his site. I didn't pay much attention. Um, I like to play defense in this game. Uh, let's go over the defensive options. I'm using Detlef Shrimp because he is the namesake of our team Shrimp Scampi in the NBA Jam League. Yes, we have an NBA Jam League here at Free Play Arcade. Um, when they are in the Richardson area, even though they are named the NBA Jam League, they play NBA Maximum Hang Time. It's all part of the same uh, lineage of NBA arcade games produced by Midway. You can see it in the background on the scores table. So this is definitely a sequel that was NBA Jam, NBA Jam Tournament Edition, uh, then NBA Hang Time, and then this one is NBA Maximum Hang Time. Uh, very few things added on. Again, the rosters uh, changing in some of the codes, how you select the outdoor coat, court. You just press left and right to select the outdoors rooftop court, court in this game. You can tell how much I've played this game over the days because I am not paying attention and we're, we're up 14. Sit down. Um, uh, the, ga the, the arcade lineage of this game continued with NBA on NBC, NBA Showtime. See, having the, uh, having the hot spot in the corner, not, not so fun because you're pretty telegraphed. You're cornering yourself. There we go. Have a, have a seat. Uh, I talk a lot of noise when I play this game. 
I always have. It was just part of the, the culture where I learned to play the game. We just all shack danced around the, uh, the arcade whenever we dunk. So even though I'm... I'm I, I like to think I don't talk a lot of noise normally. Uh, it's amped right up to 10 when I play NBA Maximum Hang Time. Which also is part of the reason I don't play a lot of NBA Maximum Hang Time. I don't wanna I don't wanna run off people by hitting them with a a 100 point win. It's just not what I'm about anymore. But I still love this game. Um, all right, offensive options. Let's talk about that one. It's from NBA Jam. It's the dunk. You hold turbo. You go towards the basket. And you press the shoot button. I'm gonna try. I can't do it again. It would be like that. That was my computer partner, Detless Shrimp, doing it. So going towards the basket, hold turbo, hit shoot. As long as you have turbo and there's no defender standing right in front of your feet, you gotta go up for a dunk. The percentage chances on making that dunk is about, it's gotta be high 90s. So you're pretty much making that unless uh, your opponents are able to defend it, which there are options. I'll try and go over that later. Um, shooting normal shots, jump shots, is just holding the shoot button. You want to let go at the apex of the jump. It increases the percentage chance of it going in. Uh, we are so far up on the computer that it is going to be cheating heavily. So don't be surprised that I miss every shot like I am terrible at the game. Just, you just look at the score. Yeah, the game absolutely cheats. Uh, part of the reason I type in the code 111 and down to turn on tournament mode is just to turn off a lot of the uh, cheating shenanigans of the game. Um, you can do things like... Uh, it's, it's hard to remember which codes this game has versus the others in the series. But you can have infinite turbo, turn off goaltending, uh, all kinds of like little cheat effects. Every, everything um, up the blocking stats of everybody. Every pass is a turbo pass. Um, I don't know the specific codes for those, but again, Google NBA Maximum Hang Time Shrine by our favorite bunny-eared friend, Dan Amrick. And he will, uh, he will be happy to show you those codes. Um, when I normally play, 1-1-1 one, one, one down, turn them all off. But I will say, I have played Mark Termal before. Now, Mark Termal is this man right here. I hope you can see that. He's got long hair. There he is again. He's in the, uh, he is the lead programmer and designer of NBA Jam, NBA Hang Time, all of these games. Showtime. He was in charge of the series. Uh, up until they had an Xbox Live Arcade release of NBA Jam way in the modern era. And even for that game, he was a consultant. So, was was certainly thought of heavily. This is, this is his baby, really. Uh, I had a chance to play NFL Blitz 99 with him. So when we're talking about codes, he typed in the code to play as himself and he typed in all the cheat codes. So if you do it that way, um, you're actually playing the game the way that the creator of the game plays it himself. So uh, not the worst thing in the world. If you want a fair fight, one, one, one and down, everybody's typing in all those codes, just gets cut off at the pass, including uh, Mark Termal. So we had ourselves a fair fight. Uh, looks like I won that game, hooray. Surprise, surprise, one game win streak. I will keep his record, so if you want to come to Free Play Richardson and continue my Dan Amrick uh, marathon here, that's uh, A-M-R-I-C-H, 2020 is the pin. You saw it at the beginning. Let's talk about the creative player. This is one of my favorite things about all the Midway sports games, is the fact that you can keep records. There is a continuing, continuing... Uh, character continuing game from game to game you can keep your record you can keep your stats the games can mean something from day to day at the arcade so let's go Dell I would use the score as a pen that's me this was a 1996 release so 1996 
no record, there's no gameplay involved in this, you get to actually straight up create a player. I screwed that up entirely. Let's play as me. That's fine. We're going to do three games. We're going to do the create a player later. Uh, let's look at some interesting things. If a kid comes up to you while you're playing this game of free play and they says, can I play as Steph Curry? No, you cannot play as Steph Curry. You can go to Charlotte, dig around, and play as his dad, Dale Curry. There he is. He has terrible stats. Um, whoa, what do we got here? Who plays the Mavs? There we go. Some three J's level Mavs. And look at the stats here. Jason Kidd is a terrible player. The Mavericks are a terrible team. Um, spin in a clockwise direction to get shot percentage displayed, and you can see what the game at least says is the shot percentage. I, I don't believe it entirely. Um, it'll tell you what, what is, in theory, a good shot and what is not, but the game absolutely cheats, so it'll erase some of your shots. Um, you can pick... You can pick specific players via code, like I did with Dan. I've got that hot spot there again. That's interesting. It's three times in a row. So you can type in the all-star players of the day, along with their special code. And you'll get to play as them on any team. They'll keep their uniform. So you'll get to play as Hakeem Olajuwon, Scotty Pippen. I don't, I don't know about Olajuwon. I assume so. Uh, definitely Pippen. But the All Stars of the day, they had their own special special codes, so you could put them on any team. Kind of kind of an interesting feature. I don't I don't ever use it, but it is what it is. Yay! Almost got it. Um, that sound when you hit the hot spot is from another classic game that I don't know that we've done a long play on yet. Um, the Williams Classic Robotron, which uh, has a lot of meaning to Mark Termal, uh, one of his favorite games, the creator of the game again. There we go. That sound right there, it's from Robotron. Eugene Jarvis created it, uh, who now does Raw Thrill stuff. He's the CEO of there, I believe. Um, but. It was the inspiration for Mark Termal's first game with Midway that I'm aware of. Um, he made Smash TV, which is definitely a game we're going to have to long play. Maybe I'll just throw an audible and we'll do a long play of that today. There we go, hotspot activated. Whenever he says that, any shot from there is going to be as if you're on fire, which means it's pretty much going in unless the computer's cheating. Uh, if you would like to play as Mark Termal, who you can see in the audience there, uh, his code is Termal, T-U-R-M-E-L-L, -L, and then the pin number is 0322. That is uh, Mark Termal, and if you play him in real life, I'm going to assume he remembers how to type in the code for himself. He will play as himself. I will play as Jason Kidd. Uh, Tony Braxton, not in the game, uh, but the stats for the Dallas Mavericks of the era are completely affected by Tony Braxton. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please Google it. Bam. Um, other interesting special guest stars in this game. We have Carlos Piscina, AKA Raiden from Mortal Kombat. Uh, he is Carlos1010, if you want to play as Carlos Piscina. He played Raiden in Mortal Kombat. He played um, Kano in the original Mortal Kombat. He played Quan Chi in Mortal Kombat 4. So deep, deep, deep in the uh, Mortal Kombat lore. Um, that's, of course, a... Game produced by Midway, so, so they had a lot of commonality. A lot of those Chicago developers shared shared commonalities like that. Um, he's not the only Mortal Kombat crossover. There's a ton of them. Uh, Ed Boon himself, the creator of Mortal Kombat, is in this game. 
Uh, John Tobias is not. I believe he had left the company at that point. But Ed Boon is absolutely in this game. He is uh, combat, K-O-M-B-A-T, 0004. That's his code. Um, and you can play as Ed Boon, who is still making Mortal Kombat games to this day, which good for him. Hey, look, I'm down. Do you think I'm going to lose? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe. Computer cheats, so maybe. Squish. Uh, offensive options. I told you about the dunk. I told you about the shoots. Uh, pass. Just pass. Hold turbo and pass. And you'll turbo pass. We just lost the monitor there for a second. That's awesome. I don't need the monitor. I can do this blindfolded. That's not true. I cannot play this game blindfolded. I can play NFL Blitz blindfolded. We'll have to try that later. Hey, I'm winning. Let's see. Ed Boon's in this game. Carl Spicina game. Mortal Kombat, guys. Mortal Kombat was featured in NBA Jam Tournament Edition. The versions before 2.0. The NBA apparently had a problem with all the violence in the game of Mortal Kombat. Let's get more of the three J's in here. Jamal Mashburn and Jason Kitcher. Lots of Brian Big Country Reeves in this playthrough. Because I don't have a... I don't have any kind of character made. So slow. I could do this all day. Man, I love this game. Uh, the alley-oop. Uh, to do an alley-oop, you take your off-team member and just go up for a dunk. So you hold turbo, hit shoot in the painted area without the ball. That's much easier to do in a two-player co-op game or a four-player two-on-two team game, which is really how this game is designed to be played and is best played, in my opinion, without any kind of like CPU shenanigans. Um, you have a dunk rating in your in your character's ratings before you start. Squish. Um, I didn't call glass, so it doesn't really count. Why are you on the ground, Mister? So good. Infinite turbo with the computer. All kinds of madness happening. They go as fast as they want to go. They teleport when they're off screen. So. So maddening at times. Alright. Go up for a dunk without the ball. You blink white. You fly in the air. All the other player has to do is hit the pass button. They sling it over to the teammates. And they do a dunk. If you can do three dunks in a row. Three alley-oop dunks in a row. Without the other team scoring. Which is probably not going to happen in all this. Uh, your whole team is on fire. I got confused. I thought I was uh, Jason Kidd still. Oh boy, I have to start concentrating maybe? There we go. Um, when you're on team fire, you are on team fire for 25 seconds of possession. Even if the other team scores at that point, it does not take away their fire. Which is really disorienting to people who are uh, NBA Jam veterans but never, never played NBA maximum hang time. Uh, the only way to remove team fire, other than letting it simply expire, is uh, do an alley-oop double dunk yourself. Alley-oop or a double dunk. A double dunk is also possible if one teammate goes up for a dunk, the other one comes behind him and goes for the alley-oop. While in the middle of the dunk, you press pass. It goes right to that teammate. Bam. Oh, we might actually get a team fire here. I'm going to see if I can play some defense for a second. It's really hard because, again, the computer cheats. The monitor does stuff. I can do it blindfolded. I have a seat. Um, if you're just trolling for fire, you can actually goaltend. Uh, goaltending gives the points to the, your opponent. That means... You block the shot on its downward path. If you do that, yes, again, I need to like practice or I'm going to lose this game. This isn't going to be a repeat of the uh, the Sonic one. I'm going to actually finish this one. 
Excellent. Edwards. With the rainbow. Rick. These guys suck. This team's never going anywhere, except for Memphis. Sorry, Vancouver. I'm sure you're a nice town. I've only been to your airport. Oh, big country. I think big country is more famous for breaking a backboard in the NCAA Final Four of like 94 or something like that than actually playing NBA NBA basketball. Here's the first draft pick of the Memphis, or sorry, the Vancouver Grizzlies. Oh my goodness, getting mugged. All right, I might be throwing this into overtime because I'm too lazy. Get that out of here. Shoot it. Just shoot it. Just shoot it. All right, we're going to shoot this and win, maybe. Yay. Oh, that's right. That's pure skill on my part and not at all random happenstance because apparently Jamal Mashburn has a heavy clutch skill. That happens more often than you might think as far as the last second shots going in. There's a whole separate skill called clutch that determines the stats on whether it's going in or not. That being said, it's still random and it doesn't uh, it doesn't happen all the time. So you gotta you gotta treat there. All right, we saw the monitor glitching. We should probably get out of here before I blow this whole machine up. But no, no, I want to keep going. Can I keep going? Sweet. All right, let's create a character. Let's see if I can remember my code. Create a character. Yes, we want to do that. Let's see if I can remember that game, that character to just one. It was dealt. I know how to spell that. And in the year 1996. Yes, record found. Sweet. So if you win three games, you get extra stats. There's my record. Uh, I can choose my own head. Let's choose something bonkers. Matt, what do you like? The wizard. Should we make it the Washington Wizards uniform? Might as well. We can change the uniform. There you go. He's a Washington wizard. We'll go to the away team. And we'll make his attributes. Let's make him super tall. Let's make him super skinny. Let's make him even taller. Yeah. Let's see. We don't need none of that. Everybody likes the dunks. Nah, none of that. Speed's kind of cool. Block, whatever. I'm tall. I can block for free, buddy. There we go. Max speed. Max uh, shoot. Yeah, looks good. It's not a good, pretty min-max character. Seven, six, 215 pounds. It's a Sean Bradley guy. Uh, we get some, some special things. Big head. Why not? Hide attributes. We don't want anybody to see that I'm really good at shooting and dunking, so let's just hide that. You only get two, so no super rebounding. No smarter drone. You got to beat the game before that's unlocked. You can choose your own nickname. Mm, he is he is he is quite hefty at 215 pounds. So maybe Fat Boy is pro appropriate. Merlin seems too on the nose. Spanky, it is. You can change your name if you want to troll somebody. Like, type in my character name steal my account and then change the name I won't say that's not happened before so we've saved our character let's let's play a game with him now as it says you win three games you get extra points you can always come back to this character you can make your character if you want to play this game enough you can make the character with max stats basically um, and you can hide attributes your opponent has no idea what's about to happen and then suddenly you're dunking on him with a seven foot six monster <laughs> Let's do this. In her name. Maximum hang time. There it is. Custom character. I have a record. You guys saw it. We don't get. To, we don't have to play against the uh, the Grizzlies for once. We already did Seattle. Where's Robin? Robin's interesting in this game. Chicago at the time. You press the turbo button, I think. Maybe it's the pass button. Yeah, the pass button changes his hair. 
think we're feeling the purple today. Let's do this. We're gonna go outside. Take this outdoors. So there's two courts, the stadium, the normal court, the outdoor court on the rooftop with the nice chain link basket. And I'm gonna call out one of the codes that has been lost for all time. That would be the ABA ball. NBA hang time before this had a code where you could play with the ABA ball. It's red, white, and blue. That ABA ball is still in the game, at least when it comes to the, uh, hot spot isn't there anymore. When it, when it comes to the attract mode, you can actually see the ABA ball being played by the computer. But now we're stuck with an orange ball. It's purely cosmetic, so it doesn't, it's not really a active cheat. Get that out of there. Thank you, Mr. Rodman. Dallas native, by the way. Woo! No defense on it, this part. So the, the code's lost to all time. The previous code was uh, accessible via the tonight's matchup screen, as you see me typing in the, uh, the tournament mode code. Same place. Uh, we don't know what it is. I would love to find it. Um, it's not on Dan's site that I use for a lot of my information here. So if you can find it, let me know. Definitely want to know. By the way, I didn't mean to play with the Washington Wizards home jersey against what appears to be the Washington Wizards. Sorry. At this point, they're the Washington... What are they? The Bullets? They're the Bullets here. Later to become the Washington Wizards. Because much like Mortal Kombat, too violent. Uh, NBA Jam Tournament Edition 2.0 and before has multiple Mortal Kombat characters just straight up in it. You can play as Scorpion, you can play as uh, Carlos Piscina, uh, his own Raiden. Um, the announcer actually becomes Mortal Kombat guy, uh, Steve Ritchie of Pinball play fame. If you are on this channel often, which by the way, subscribe. It's up there. Bell icon, top right. It's good stuff. Oh, oh, good if it goes. <laughs> That's a free rebound right there. Put that to my stat total. There's your clutch attribute that affects how often you make last second shots when you're live on camera. Do, do, do. The cheerleaders in the background you can play as. They're in the, they have their own sec secret characters, but also you can select them as heads for your character and create a character mode. Uh, I think they're the only women characters in this game as it's using real NBA rosters from the 1996 era. Um, I think the most notable rookie that they added for this specific game is Allen Iverson, who as you know is the best high school football player of all time, which is oddly true. Um, his stats in this game, Iverson, he's in the game. They're terrible. They make no sense at all. I remember him in college. He was dunking on everybody. He, and it was notable because he's like 6'1 and absolutely dunking in the face of people, getting, getting announcers in trouble for their superlatives that they use for him. But in the in NBA Maximum hang time, he has almost no dunk stats. So it's hard to dunk with Allen Iverson, which is insane. Uh, if that game had come out six months later, or this game had, or it even had a revision six months later, I suspect you would have seen Iverson's stats go through the roof. Because within the next you know year or two, he was one of the top five players in the league. No Shaq, no Barkley, no Michael Jordan, as we are notably missing Michael Jordan on the Bulls here. That's because they had some rights issues. Uh, I believe Jordan got out of the NFLPA, NBA PA, sorry, um, as he was making all the money back then in endorsements and in salary and in basketball, uh, baseball, Space Jam. This game needs more Looney Tunes, in fact, Monstars. I, 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 I think there are some hacked versions where they add different characters in, in, in NBA Jam at least. Maybe not NBA Maximum Hang Time. Uh, if you can get a rebound like I just did there and immediately press the shoot button again, 
Your shoot percentage is way higher than 80%. It is incredibly high. We're at halftime in our final game. The halftime leader is Spanky. Wow, that's Philadelphia? Hard to tell. Okay, so here's Iverson with his zero dunks. He can't dunk in this game. That makes no sense at all. He's still got his Georgetown uh, college uniform there. He hasn't played an NBA game at the time of the release of this particular game. Uh, Dennis Rodman's more known for playing for the Spurs and changing his hair. Uh, Pippen's in the game. Oh, we can use Kerr. Steve Kerr, current coach of the Warriors. He's in the game, so why not? He is very short. He can shoot the three. And he has no, pro no interest in defense whatsoever. There you go. The layup, costly for Allen Iverson. If only he knew how to dunk the ball back when he could jump through the roof. There's a Brett. What else we're missing? This is uh, the announcer here is Neil Funk, not Tim Kirchrow. Neil is also in the game. Uh, N F U N K 0101 is his code. Woo! And I haven't even talked about Sal Davida yet. I don't have his code. Sal Davida is also in the game, and I am obsessed with this man. I don't know why I'm obsessed with Sal Davida. Other than he was in every game. All these midway games seem to share people. Sal DeVita was the motion capture guy. So um, he is basically every generic character in every midway game. If you ever played Revolution X, he's literally every character that isn't Hel Helga or Aerosmith. Every bad guy you shoot over and over again. Look at this. They're going to beat me. Um, if they get on fire, take it right to the rim. One basket means they are no longer on fire. Have a seat. Pushing, that's your best defensive option. That's hold turbo, press the pass button. It does use some extra turbo. So that's your resource management of this game. But mainly this is a zoning game. Again, you want to stay in between your man and the basket. And that, that helps you out. Shove everybody to the ground. The spin move is double tap the ta the uh, turbo button. Again, just like the shove, that uses some... Have a seat. Double tapping turbo uses some of your turbo, just like that. You can see it by the yellow. This is my turbo up here. There, go. there it is. Almost. Oh, what happened to your lead, Philadelphia? Man, these uniforms look nothing like the real uniforms. Uh, NBA Showtime's character models look much more real. It, that, that's when the game went to 3D. Um, back to Sal DeVita. He's in Mortal Kombat 3. He plays Nightwolf. Uh, he's featured in the credits of Mortal Kombat everything. He is, uh, he's the guy with long hair and the name Sal in this game. What a he is, I've seen him in the background of um, Cruise in USA, another Midway game. I'm sure he was involved in the development of that. He's in the, uh, the credits for Smash TV. And I find that famously, at least locally famously in our little group, uh, got quite a lot of criticism for having a scavenger hunt with a category that said better call Sal and you were supposed to find Sal DeVita in one of the free play games everybody got angry at me because we did not have Mortal Kombat 3 on the floor at the time and a quick Google search uh, errantly led people to believe that he was in and only in Mortal Kombat 3 as Nightwolf and when in fact he is in every Midway game I have ever played. So there were plenty of possible answers there. And if you're Sal DeVita, I'd love to, I'd love to talk to you. I don't know why, I just always kind of like Sal DeVita, so there you go. If you're out there and you know Sal, give him my contact info, love to talk to Sal. Maybe he knows how to give us the ABA ball. Maybe I can focus for the last 90 seconds and actually win this. 
Good if it goes. Yeah. Chicago leading by five. Baseline leader. Um, we have an NBA Jam League. Uh, contact me also if you want to. If you're in the local area, the DFW area. I know Team Chris is obsessed with this out of Florida. Every time I see him commentating a Street Fighter match with a Dallas player, he's always talking about the NBA Jam League. There's a win, buddy. So yeah, NBA Jam League, contact me. We're going to start a new season soon. That's going to be fun. All right, congratulations, Spanky. Uh, with that, I'm going to let you go. This has been Long Plays by Free Play. They're telling me I have to go play another game and not just NBA Maximum Hang Time for 25 straight hours, which if you know me, I absolutely will do. Been enjoying it, so see you guys next time. Bye.